Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the geometric means theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, from the start of this video, we will try to derive the formula on how to find the length of the missing segments in a given right triangle. By the way, guys, this one is under right triangle similarity theorem, and we will try to discuss geometric means theorem. So what we have here is to find yw, xy, and yz. Your yw here in this kind of given figure is the altitude of the right triangle. Next, your xy is one of the legs of the right triangle, same with yz. So how are we going to calculate for the yw or the altitude using our co the concept or our knowledge about the geometric means. So, simple na naman guys, your geometric mean or your altitude is YW, sabi sa ating geometric means theorem, your altitude is equal to the geometric means between this segment and this segment. Parang isipin nyo na lang, your altitude is equal to the square root of the segment xw times wz. These segments are formed nung nag-intersect sa hypotenuse at si altitude na meron tayo sa right triangle. So again, altitude is equal to the square root of the two segments formed when the altitude and the hypotenuse intersect each other. Next, what about naman kapag yung leg ang hinahanap natin? Let's say for example, yung xy. Yung xy naman natin is simply equal to the square root of eto ha, eto yung pinaka na natin, pinatatandaan yung pattern. This is your xy and then that is equal to the product of the hypotenuse xz times the segment nearest to the leg. So again, xy is equal to the square root of the hypotenuse and this segment nearest to the leg na hinahanap natin. So, so that, that is xw. Sir, what about if we are trying to calculate for yz? For yz naman, same pattern with xy. Since one of the legs siya, gawin nyo, get the hypotenuse, xz, times the segment nearest to this leg. And this is the segment, wz. Now, let us try to calculate the value of yw using this formula. Your yw is equal to xw, which is 5 square root of 5 times your wz, which is 12. So, simplify natin to. yw is equal to the square root of 60. Ngayon, since 60 is not a perfect square, the reason why nalagay ko siya dito, kasi i-factor out din natin to. But as you can see, meron tayo rito ang ano, um, possible na makuha. Parang ganito mangyayari dito. The factor of 60 is simply how many? 4 times 15. Right? And this one is a perfect square. The square root of 4 is 2. So your yw is equal to, let's bring out the square root of 4, which is 2. That is 2. And then it will remain as 15 inside the radical sign. Pero if you're allowed to use the calculator, and your teacher wants to express the length of the altitude in decimal form, i-press nyo lang yung 2, square root of 15, and then SD. Lalabas yung ating decimal. For the meantime, I will allow my students to express their, their answer in radical form, pero dapat simplified. Okay? So we are done with the altitude. Let's go with the XY, which is one of the legs of this right triangle. Formula natin is xy 
is equal to the square root of the whole hypotenuse times the segment nearest to the leg. So this is square root of the hypotenuse is this one, the whole xz, 5 plus 12, which is equal to 17 times, okay guys, times 55, the answer is what? xy is equal to the square root of 85. Ngayon, isipin natin, uh, can we still simplify 85? And I think wala na tong factor, guys. Wala na siyang factor of perfect square. So as is na that xy is equal to the square root of 85. Okay? Now let's move on to the last leg, which is yz. We have yz is equal to the square root of your hypotenuse, which is 5 plus 12, that is 17, times, this is 12. Okay? What is 17 times 12? The answer is, y, z is equal to the square root of 204. And as you can see, this one is 204. Meron siya factor in a perfect square, which is 4 times 51. So, meron tayong yz is equal to 4 times 51. And this one is a perfect square. The square root of 4 is 2. Ilabas natin. Meaning, the length of yz is 2 times the square root of 51. Ito na mismo yung sagot natin for this problem. In the next part of our video, ito naman yung pag-uusapan natin. Pero, mas magiging mabilis yung ating solution. Okay, we will try to calculate calculate the, the values in, in a faster manner para mas masanay kayo sa gantong klase mga problem. Okay? So, solve for the variables x, y, and z in each triangle. So, we have these two triangles. And ang target na natin gawin dito muna is ito lang. And then this one will serve as your assignment. Okay, let's discuss this one. We are given the right triangle GHK. Hanapin natin yung X, Y, and Z. So let's start with letter X. Your X here is the altitude. Okay, so we have here the X. Now, let's be quick. Natin mabuti. Altitude is equal to the square root of Multiply mo itong dalawang to, that is 5 times 15. The segments in your hypotenuse. So this is x is equal to 5 times 15. is the square root of 75. And as you can see, we can simplify 75. The factors are 25 times 3. Perfect square of 25. Extract natin. That is 5. The square root of 25 is 5. And then yung 3 natin, it will remain inside. Meaning, the length of your altitude is simply 5 square root of 3. Galo lang siya kabilis, guys. Okay? Now, let's move on with the other missing variable. We will solve for y. For y naman, remember ha, y is the longer leg. So, ang formula natin dyan is this Square root of the whole hypotenuse, 5 plus 15, which is 20, times yung segment nearest, again, the segment nearest to the missing leg. And ito yun, which is 15 times 15. Multiply natin, 20 times 15 is how many? Y is equal to? Square root of 300. Factor me 300, meron siyang perfect square. Y is equal to the square root of 100 times 3. Tama? Then get the square root of 100, which is 10. And then square root of 3. This is the value of Y in this given figure. Y is equal to 10 square root of 3. As simple as that. Lastly, letter Z. Your letter C, Z is clearly the shorter leg. Okay? 
Let's have the solution, the square root of the hypotenuse, which is 20, times the segment nearest to this leg, which is 5. Tama? Okay. So you can see, multiply 20 and 5, your z is equal to the square root of 100. And luckily, this one is a perfect square. So the length of your side z, or the shorter leg, is simply 10. So this is equal to 10. So I hope guys, you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the missing length of a given right triangle with an altitude. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!